You know, most of these mail call videos I usually get super excited about, and this one is no different right here. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and unbox a couple of, uh, something I rarely do, a couple of slabs that I bought from uh, some members in the community. What's going on everyone, it's E-Man here from the C-List Villains Podcast and E-Man's World of Geek. Today, I'm doing an unboxing video of a couple of slabs that I purchased from some members in the community. Uh, one of them is my buddy, Birdie, uh, aka Bird Bird the Nerd. Now, if you're not following Ferd Bird the Nerd, go ahead and give him a follow on YouTube. He's got a great marketing YouTube channel. So if you guys are into investing, maybe specking, he's the guy that you guys want to go see. Matter of fact, if you can't, go give him one of your nominations for uh, best spec video because this guy, I think he's got some pretty good stuff. Now, as I mentioned, I have a couple of slabs in here that I'm looking forward to unboxing for you guys. So, uh, would you guys come along for the ride? All right, this first one I'm gonna go ahead and unbox is something that uh, I thought is really cool for a collector like me. Now, you guys know I don't really collect uh, Marvel or DC. I'll collect them here and there. I'm mostly a, a mid-dependent, independent kind of a guy. But this is something that I was like, you know what, this is actually really cool. Marvel's a big name, and for them to, I don't wanna say showcase, but at least mention or have their first appearance in a Marvel book, I thought it was really dope. Let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what's in this box right here. But he hit me up one day, he's like, hey man, I know you got this book, but I also got it, but it's slabbed, and I think it'd be cool for your collection. I was like, you know what? I think it would. You know, I definitely want to be able to uh, showcase it and have this kind of book right here in my collection because I think it's cool that Marvel, a very big company, had a team like this in their universe. I was like, you know what? There's not much about this team, and I know there's really um, not too much going on with it, but still, nonetheless, it'd be really cool for me to have in my collection. I know we just passed up Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Um, and, and this is a little late, but you know what? Better late than never, you know, Filipino time, because we're always late, right? <laughs> this one right here is um, actually an Iron Man book. Um, and this dates back to 2008. Uh, and th I didn't read this, I didn't read this, uh, this book right here. Um, but I was like, oh man, let me, let me go ahead and add this one to the collection. This right here is Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man. Number two from 2008 in a 9.6. I picked this up because this is the first appearance of Marvel's first Filipino superhero team, the Triumph Division, in this book right here. And that's the reason why I wanted it. I was like, oh, look, this is Marvel's first Filipino um, superhero group. Actually, I, you know, at least in the comics, in here, unfortunately, in this issue, um, uh, Ezekiel went ahead and sent over some monks as uh, suicide bombers and, and killed the whole team. Whole team, the whole original team that we got in the you know their first appearance in in this book, they're all dead. Here's the thing, though, because in the Philippines, actually in Marvel at least. The Triumph Division it is a generational superhero team, so there's always another one in training in case something happens. So, to uphold their secret identity, no one knows who they are. Matter of fact, when the funeral happened uh, for the Triumph Division, only Tony Stark and immediate family showed up because, you know, they're trying to keep their identities a secret. Um, there's still another Triumph Division, but this is the first appearance of the Filipino superhero team Triumph Division in comics right here. Iron Man. Invincible Iron Man number two from 2008. I do love this again, Ferdy. Thank you so much for this. I really, really appreciate it, brother. On to package number two. This is an eBay purchase right here. And this is a book that I've actually been trying to add to my collection since it first came out. Since I was first introduced to this artist's art, I was like, holy crap, dude, like this guy's art is like right up my alley. Super mecha, super robot-y. Um, and, and I like the design choice that he did for this cover right here. This is from cover artist Ryan Berry. And honestly, Ryan, if you see this, I invite you to come onto my show. I would love to sit down and have a chit chat with you. I absolutely fell in love with your art the moment that I saw it. And I really want to share this one right here with everyone because like I said, I've actually been looking for this particular uh, cover. Um, and since it's slabbed, I was like, even more so, like I really want to add this. Now this isn't, I don't want anyone going out there, picking up and specking and be like, oh, you know, I'm don't, don't trust me with that shit right there. I know nothing. I'm just adding things to my collection that I'm going to enjoy. And this is one that I was like, 
I really, really want this. I really love the art on this one right here. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what I got. This is from Big Wanda on eBay, and it was a really good price. To me, I thought it was a really good price. I was like, I need this one right here. Let me go ahead and add that. Inner John Universe. Anyone who follows my channel knows that I'm a big Transformer guy. I, I love my Transformers. And starting over with a brand new story that's different yet familiar, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. You guys can see. I love my Transformers. I love my Transformers. Transformers is my thing. And so when I saw this one on eBay and I was like, this is for sale and it's a 9.8, I was like, I need to pick this up, this one up right here. So from Big Wanda on eBay, this is sick. I really love the design that he put on here for Jetfire. This is Void Rivals number one, Ryan Berry's third printing of this comic right here with Jetfire on the cover with Ryan Berry's design. I love, I truly love that like almost gundam -y style, that mecha style that he gave Jetfire and, and I was like, wow, this, in my opinion, and I'm gonna say this, I'm, I'm gonna say this out loud, I'm gonna put this out there in the world, in my opinion, this is the best Void Rivals number one cover out there. It, it, I, I really love this one right here because I love this style. I love, you know, old school anime. I love, you know, mecha. I love, I, that's just stuff that I grew up on, you know, and this reminds me of that. And for this to be on Void Rivals and the Energon Universe, you know, cover, it's just a bonus for me. So I was like, I need to have this one right here, you guys. Well, that's it. I just I just had a couple of books right there I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks so much for coming by and hanging out. Now, remember, I co-host the Sealess Villains podcast. We come out with a new episode every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific time or 7 p.m. on Sundays for Sealess Sundays with Red and Mike. Sometimes I'm there. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I... Depends on what my ADHD tells me that day. I don't know. You know, I'll probably show up here and there. <laughs> And keep an eye out on my channel. I have the Confabulation Episode 2 coming out pretty soon. I'm working on that uh, new segment show, something that I've been working on for quite a few years, and then I'm just trying to get it back out there. So just keep an eye out. Uh, hopefully I can get that out for you guys and, and have some fun and uh, hang out with us in the chat, all right? That's it. I'm going to go back and edit this video right here, you guys. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Until the next issue. Doses.